Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and praised the deep-rooted bilateral relations which stretch back more than 200 years, affirming that this visit will enhance these historic relations and further strengthen cooperation. He pointed out that cooperation opens the door for opportunities, adding that the unfortunate events witnessed recently requires the need for stronger cooperation. The Royal Highnesses discussed Bahraini-British relations and the keenness of both countries to bolster these relations in order to benefit both nations and their peoples. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the kind efforts of the British community in supporting the Kingdom's march in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales discussed topics of regional and international concern with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirming the need for a stronger level of cooperation in order to solve the conflicts occurring in the region and overcoming all challenges and potential dangers. The Prime Minister affirmed the role of Britain in maintaining security and stability both regionally and internationally. His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales then praised the positive developments in Bahraini-British relations, affirming his country's keenness to further enhance bilateral cooperation in all areas. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall toured the Manama Souk today, which included a visit to Bahrain's historic Hindu temple, which is some two centuries old. The delegation witnessed musical performances and visited handicraft stalls during the tour of the Manama Souk area, which the Crown Prince said truly reflected Bahrain's deep-rooted traditions and heritage as a trading nation. His Royal Highness stressed that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain continues to attach great importance to fostering and promoting the principles of tolerance and multiculturalism to ensure understanding and harmony amongst the Kingdom's multicultural society. The Crown Prince concluded by highlighting that this deep-rooted ties between Britain and the UK continue to be underpinned by a commitment to promoting these shared ideals. During the visit to the Hindu temple in Manama, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales met with students from Bahrain's public and private schools as well as members of the Migrant Workers Protection Society, which has been working alongside the government for over a decade to protect and promote migrant workers' rights and to ensure that migrant workers benefit from the significant protections that the government has put in place to ensure international standards are met.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales today visited Bahrain's largest place of worship, the Grand Al Fatah Mosque. During the visit, the Crown Prince highlighted that the Prince of Wales' visit to the Al Fatah Mosque highlights the strong cultural ties that exist between Bahrain and the United Kingdom. The Crown Prince went on to note Bahrain's distinguished and long-standing record in promoting multiculturalism and tolerance, adding that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid, these values continue to underpin Bahrain's efforts to achieve greater stability and prosperity for all. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince concluded by welcoming the important role played by the UK in helping to support the ambitious development goals of Bahrain and highlighted the importance of increasing constructive cooperation between the two countries. The son of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa and the Minister in Attendance, Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa accompanied the Crown Prince and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales during their visit to the Grand Al Fatah Mosque. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales were received by the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, Vice President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, and senior members of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales today visited the UK Naval Support Facility in Mina Salman, during which an official ceremony was held to inaugurate the welfare bloc. Speaking on the occasion, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted that the Naval Support Facility represents an important moment in Bahrain's long-standing defence and security ties with the UK and demonstrates both countries' firm commitment to protecting regional stability and security. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince went on to underscore the vital role the facility will play in expanding the capacity of joint UK-Bahraini naval operations during a period of ever-changing threats. His Royal Highness noted that at a time when the region faces complex security challenges, Bahrain remains committed to working with its international partners to increase stability, security and prosperity across the region.
The visit also included a tour around HMS Middleton, a British Royal Navy Hunt class mine countermeasures vessel. Present were the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, sons of His Royal Highness of the Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, who has received training by the British Royal Navy, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and the Royal Bahrain Naval Force Commander, Rear Admiral Sheikh Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa.